Yo, E. Does he not hear me? Ethan, what is he doing? Does he not understand we're supposed to be filming a video? Yo, E. Ethan, E. <laughs> Yo. We're supposed to be filming a video right now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Were you just about to one bite that banana? I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I got my bananas. Before I came up here with the camera, you were about to one bite that banana. What are you talking about, dude? It's like gonna be at least nine bites. No, I'm like almost certain that if you didn't know you were being filmed, you were gonna one bite that banana. No. No, I'd put money on the fact that you probably do a lot of sus things when you don't know you're being filmed. Like, what, what things have you done when you didn't know that you were being filmed, but you were being filmed by camera, and you didn't know? <laughs> because I found a couple things online of you doing some things when you didn't know that you were being filmed. Some private things. Did you really? Yeah, do, do you know what you would have been doing? We're about to find out. I don't know what you're talking about. What if I'm, imagine I'm just dripping sweat by the end of this? He might be, honestly. We don't know what we're about to look at, so. Um, we're just gonna get right into it. You guys clicked on the video, it says reacting to secretly filmed videos of us. It's something that happens in public in our lives and it's really uncomfortable. A lot of the times we can tell when we're being secretly Yeah, filmed. I'm gonna say at least probably, I mean, I don't know how many there are. Our team pulled these. We were in a group chat the other day and someone sent me a video of myself being secretly filmed, and I had no clue that anyone was filming, and it was really uncomfortable for me to watch. So they decided to compile, how many of these are there? 25 videos of me being secretly filmed for us to sweat. Not just him, it's, it's, uh, it's us. Yeah. He thinks so. Uh, he thinks he's better than me. So the paparazzi, actually, because they they don't paparazzi me, they paparazzi him. Paparazzi, if you're watching this, please paparazzi him and not me. Uh, also, if you guys want to see Ethan being paparazzi, it gets terribly awkward. Check out last video. I set him up and I made the paparazzi ask him a bunch of juicy questions about his relationship. That's the last video, watch that after this video, please. Right. Way to fucking piss all of our retention time out the window, Grayson. Stay okay. retended, all right, please? And also hit like and subscribe if you want us to keep doing these juicy videos. Yeah, because last time we filmed one of these things where we sat down, you know, we opened up a little bit, got a little vulnerable, and addressed some juicy things. It felt good, we got a lot of support and response, and a lot of people were really into the juicy info coming out of our mouths. So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna Secreting give you- reading it out of our mouths. All right, let's. Chill with that. Let's get perspirating. Yeah. Let's let's watch these Holy awkward shit, dude, This is I'm sweating already. We're renting this beach house and it's 95 degrees upstairs because the AC broke and downstairs the AC works, but we already filmed downstairs, so we wanted to switch it up and that's why we're up here. We can easily just go film downstairs. You wanna do that? No. You wanna get sweaty? I'm down, bro. Alright, so first video, it's uh a I'll secret video of us. Dude, that's so weird. I mean not really. We're just walking. So our agent's in the middle and he's wearing Grayson's backpack. Grayson will be a fing diva because of that. Put your own backpack on. I was on a shirt and I didn't want to get wrinkled. You was on a shirt. You were on a shirt. He's not used to wearing shirts, he doesn't know how to talk about them. I didn't want to get it wrinkled because we were at the EMAs, which it's not really weird to be filmed there. Like, no, it's not. That's that's the whole point of what's going on. There's a bunch of cameras everywhere. Oh gosh, this is gonna be a oh! I actually do remember getting paparazzi here. Don't remember what the f happened. Every time I get paparazzi, I completely like black out and I, I don't know what's going on and I don't recall anything. And I have never ever watched a paparazzi video of myself. Oh no, dude, no. Dude, back when we can give hugs. Ah, oh, I miss that. This is pre-corona also, it's pre-puberty. That's why I look like that. Oh, we must have been 16 in this. Oh, this is when we won the Teen Choice Awards. The first time. <laughs> Not, not kidding, but, no. <laughs> not kidding, but he's kidding. He's not that much of a douchebag, but he just looks like one. Oh, I'm already so awkward, bro. Look at my eyes. <laughs> I'm like just staring. Cam Dallas was slut shaming Jessica Alba when he made the comment about not going where her mouth was. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't really like watching the show, so I was like backstage, like in the box. Okay, but like, you don't, so. I, you don't think you've been no, no, like that? No, no, definitely not. You He's a cool dude. No, so. people take things wrong with me, so. Is that what it is? Yeah, there's, there's who, no way. Who has the better hair out of you and your brother? Uh, I'd say my brother. Alright, thank you. Uh, oh! I was f***ing lying. <laughs> when you put on the spot and you start being asked about slut shaming, that's just f***ed up. Like, yeah. you're 16. I was 16. I was yeah. asked about a really serious topic, which was probably blown out of proportion. Obviously. This video is called Dolan Twins Acting Like Jerks. I remember this day, and I remember this guy. This f***ing guy, dude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what footage he got, but I remember... This guy. That's when I put Grayson on the billboard. We're filming that video. 
<laughs> ah! That was a joke that I made for the camera. Yeah. And we just got okay, but from here it looks kind of like it looks like you're being a jerk. But if you watch the video, you know that it was just a joke for the camera. Yeah. Can you stop filming us? No, 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 no. No what? <laughs> oh, so he actually did stop. He acted like he didn't <laughs> in real life. Grayson said, "Can you stop filming us?" Because he didn't want that guy to get footage of our video that hadn't come out yet because he didn't want it to leave. We were in this parking lot. It was it, it literally had a, a sign that said "public parking," so you're allowed to film in public. This guy, but he started filming too. So he told us we couldn't film, and he started filming me. His description is Grayson Dolan and friends at Dolan Twins. That he shouted us out. It, it, this is really fucking confusing. He owned a ballet studio that was in the parking lot, or he worked at a ballet studio. He was a ballet. Guy, he was a, he was a ballerino. He was about to teach a ballet class, and some of the girls from the ballet class were asking for photos of Grayson and I, and we were taking them with them. This guy was pissed off. We were interrupting his soon-to-be ballet class, but I made a joke in that video, and I'm not a diva in real life. Like I'm not gonna. Tell a guy, hey, look at me, I'm on a billboard. It was it was clearly a joke. Hey, he's got a lot of dislikes. 4.3k. That's a lot of dislikes, which is good because I guess it means people thought we weren't acting like jerks. So thanks, people. Yeah. All right, next, uh, what do we got? Okay, hold up. Before we get into this, turn that bell on. All right, let's get into it. What bell? The notification one. So they don't miss out on any videos that we plan making in the future? That's part of, that's part of the reason why, yeah. That's like the only- The other part of the reason is it's really fun to click. You try it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at that hair. Okay, this, I remember this day very vividly. So look, okay, first of all, look at my hair. My outfit, I ate a vegan chimichanga right before that. So the shirt's extra tight, so are the thighs. And it's just a very unflattering photo of me. I got the worst haircut I've ever fucking had. Besides <laughs> the one on my head right now, it looks like a helmet, but I'm gonna fix that soon. And then the next photo is both of us. Okay, this is like not that. It's a better angle of your hair for sure. Yeah. Fan stole your shirt. I don't remember that happening. <laughs> That's me in my blue shirt. Oh, this is, this is like my, my white shirt. Big, That was my blue shirt at the end. She had my blue shirt. Look, that's my blue shirt. She's my navy blue shirt. Smelling it! Oh gosh. Right, so, oh. Oh, God. If it was this shirt, I'd feel bad because like you don't want to smell this one right now, dude. Also, why are the nipples blue on this shirt? <laughs> why are they blue? I honestly missed that shirt dearly. It was my beach shirt. That's why I was wearing it at the beach. And it's really fing scary that they were stalking us on like seven different occasions throughout the day and we didn't notice them once. All we noticed was not having a shirt anymore. You know that feeling of like, oh, whoa, someone might be watching me? That's kind of the feeling that I, I have nowadays because I see videos like this. Yeah, I just think it's funny that she was smelling it. It probably didn't smell that great. I was at the beach all day. Yeah. But that could have been the that could have been the appeal of watching, you know, to, to make her smell. Cause we're like so normal and like someone like smelled Ethan's shirt. <laughs> Okay, randomly with baby. Randomly with baby. Oh! We are randomly with baby. We knew this video was being filmed though. Well, I actually thought it was a picture. Oh, so you didn't know. Oh, oh. So yeah, sometimes people just vlog things when you think they're taking a picture or whatever. But this was fine because this was uh, backstage MTV green room. We weren't. Again, cameras are like supposed to be there. Yeah, so. so it was chill. What a cutie. That was a cute ass baby. And I'm sorry I made you cry, baby. And this was. When we were on tour in Dublin, I looked like that's the most random place. I don't even get paparazzi in Hollywood. But in Dublin, we got paparazzi. Dude, what did he say to you? I remember this guy was nuts. He published the worst photos of us because we got into an altercation with him. Someone on our touring team asked him not to take a photo with us. I think it was our tour manager, and he got really mad at them. And then he released this really shit photo of myself. <laughs> I, I didn't have my mouth open like that in every photo. There's no way. The paparazzi did Ethan dirty because we told him he wasn't allowed to take pictures anymore because he was coming in the hotel. All right, so next one, drinking milk at TRL. Wait, hold up. Bro, please don't remind me of my dairy drinking days. I think we're eating hot stuff, right? Wait. Was that plant milk? Dude, I wouldn't have fucked up. There's no way. I don't think you were dairy free there yet. Oh, maybe I wasn't. Okay, that's, uh, Poor angle. A little bit, a little bit better hair. Hey, my outfit is matching. Forehead's a little greasy. Well, you did get paparazzi, you liar. Yeah, but you were there. It's the worst, dude. It's so awkward. If you don't believe me, how awkward it is, watch our last video where I get paparazzi. Uh, <laughs> LAX paparazzi. Why don't I not? I don't remember this? this at all. This might be a zoom lens. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, now that's weird that someone can get a DSLR camera on you and you don't even notice. I have my neck pillow on. At least you weren't making some carrier backpack here. Uh, more paparazzi photos. What, oh. do I, what am I doing with that wall? 
<laughs> That's a nipple ass shirt. Too. Wait, you're, you're walking into the wall. Oh, this is a school. Dude, people would take photos of us every day at school without us knowing. It just became a thing. And then, look at me. Look at my, I'm like wiping my face. I talked about it before, but I was always so worried that there'd be something on my face and someone would take a photo of me. But yeah, that was school for like three months and then we left. School sucked. School. school That's man. high school, dude. Bro, I think I had the worst haircut of all time. <laughs> <laughs> no, no tats. Bro, what are you holding, dude? Pepto Bismol and. Someone was having poopy problems. No, okay. <laughs> I'm regularly getting antibiotics for my sinus infection. And then because of the antibiotics, I think I had the Pepto Bismol. Oh, uh, wait, hold up. This does fucking remind me. I don't know if I should tell the story. Maybe. I'm gonna tell the story. I was once, I think I, this had to be like 2016. I was, I was, um, I don't know. You were hoping yeah. that you'd practice. I was hoping to practice the activity safely, and I was buying. You're the you're uh, yeah, I was, I was buying the necessary equipment to, to do so. To be, you just wanted to be prepared. Yeah, and because health class. So I was buying the, these items, and I looked over, and there was a girl taking a photo of me while I was doing this. And I was like 15. He was freaking the. F the, the whole world thinks I'm a virgin. There was a rumor that we had purity rings at the time, so I was like, what the f So I freak out, I run up to her, and I was like, hey, uh, listen, so there's no really, like, easy way for me to tell you this, but please delete that photo. <laughs> and she was like, wait, what photo? And I was like, uh, I, I saw you take the photo, please delete it. And she was like, I didn't take the photo. I was like, can I please just, like, see your camera roll? So I went, oh my god. So I went through her camera roll, and yeah, lo and behold, there was three photos of me holding this Box of Jimmy's. Yeah, this this box of Jim's and I had to delete them. And she was I don't know how they got in my camera roll. I think I accidentally clicked the photo. I was like, listen, I'm not mad at you. I'm just really scared. So I need to delete these right now. <laughs> and I went to the recently deleted and I got rid of them. And that was that. This next one is called Mobbed in Australia. That's the title of the video. Okay, yeah, this was uh, this was my fault. Okay, yeah. basically, we're in Melbourne, Australia. This is right before one of our shows on tour in 2016. And I thought it would be funny if I were to disguise myself as a fan and wait in line and then go to one of our shows and then rush the stage and then that would be my entrance to the show. Our whole crew got like walkie talkies for this. I had a walkie talkie, Grayson had a walkie talkie and I was filming backstage because we were planning on making this a YouTube video too and it just fucking failed and Grayson got his wig ripped off and he got mobbed. That was that and then I saw people like, assuming that I was trying to have a normal life and then I was disguising myself so that I could feel normal and, and blend into to, to the community or whatever. When you were actually doing the complete opposite. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying. I was like trying to film a video and prank everyone there. Defending fans. Yeah, this was sketchy. There was a man at. LAX, Los Angeles International Airport one time when we landed. And I'm gonna take a chance and say that this man was not there to trap. He was kind of just loitering outside. But for some reason, we went outside. There were some fans there who wanted to take photos with us. We were taking photos and he just started trying to fight us. And our fans as well. So we were stuck in a position where, I don't know, I didn't want to fight a guy as soon as I landed off of a plane after like being completely exhausted. Yeah, I, I really don't want to fight a guy in general. Yeah, I was like, this is really bad too because then I'm just like, uh, I don't want to get sued and there's people that are definitely filming me right now. But luckily we kind of talked him out of it and he left. But yeah, that was, that was fucking sketchy. All right. Ethan Dolan has been spotted with a girl who people suspect is his new girlfriend. Here are pictures that a fan took of them at the beach. He just kissed the girl. <laughs> Hashtag exposed. The girl. <laughs> also, why exposed? Yeah, like, like that's a normal human interaction when you like someone, feel a certain way towards each other. Isn't isn't it nice to do? OMG, it's Ethan Dolan. That is me. Someone who was there. We have an inside source. That girl is from Sydney herself. I sadly didn't get the photo of them holding hands, but like, trust me, it was real. Like, why would I lie about that? Ha. <laughs> But this was the only footage I got of them because I didn't want to be rude. Thank you for that, and because you were trying not to be rude, I will confirm that you did speak the truth in your DM. But also, I've seen so many things that aren't truthful that, about like this similar topic. Yeah, I, I, yeah, totally. So please don't believe what you see. It's a complete toss up every time it's case by case, but that's what it makes my life feel so like sus. Yeah, like someone else is narrating it sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, shit, like I mean, everyone knows that rumors can spread about anyone. But like sometimes it can get dangerous, yeah. really dangerous. And I, I've seen a lot of like really up accusations and shit uh, of us out there. 
and I, I, it's just it is tough. So in situations like this, people can make up stories and stuff. And there's a lot of like weird assumptions about us and of people trying to take us down. So if you want to see us respond to those, you can click a few videos back. But in this case, this was not an assumption. This is factual. Uh, yes, there was a smooch, or, or there was a couple smooches. Um, I'm, I'm sweating now. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, Dude, I'm even kind of sweating. It's just like funny. Here are the reactions to the two possibly being together. Like, it's fine if they did, but still annoying. I don't know if it's annoying that we kissed or is it annoying that someone said it? Sorry if I kissed someone and it annoyed you. But also, but I'm not sorry. Because it felt good. I mean, it's pretty normal to like kiss people and other such things that are normal. And like I said, we're normal people. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we're 20 years old. Yeah, so like if you, if you expect me to like, um, it is about me. Yeah, I just talking about myself a little bit. <laughs> can y'all leave even though alone? Damn, he's 20 years old and you can have a girlfriend. Uh, thank you. Apparently, I'm now allowed to have a girlfriend. Now that you're 20 20. years old. Before that, in your teen, no. Yeah. I broke the rules that I, I did when I was 19. Oh, shit. Broke the rules. My shirt is really sweaty. I think we're going to end it there. I wish I had my old shirt. But someone stole it at the beach a couple years back. Yeah. This was funny. This was funny to film, and like it brought up like a lot of funny stories and memories, and some that I haven't shared here that I probably will share on a podcast. So you guys can check that out. It's called Deeper with the Dylan Twins. We got video coming soon. Podcast video coming soon, which means we're gonna have a whole separate YouTube channel just to get juicy on. Hosting, Literally hosting weekly videos on there too. If you want us to get really juicy on there, like more than this video, give it a like and subscribe. Subscribe for juice. Um, the subscribers. Juice is going up and our juice is coming. <laughs> Dude, I feel like this like just really put me back in my like fucking teen days when I was like hiding out and shit like that. Sure. Like right now I feel like I'm like 17 but I'm, I'm 20 and then like sometimes I feel like I'm 30. Hey, well you're 20 now, you're finally out to have a girlfriend so why, why don't you have one now? That I've been trying. It just hasn't worked. This doesn't need to get that deep. That's what we do on our podcast, Deep Road the Dolan Twins. If you want to go listen to it, it's on Apple and Spotify podcast right now. Videos coming soon. Thank you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!